Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make a horror, well, like one of these, a horror fan game. I'm currently working on it. It's my new thing that I'm making since my other one uh, decided to crash on me. So, this is the uh, new one that I'm making. Hope you guys like it. So, I'm going to be make, teaching you how you can make a grill type fan game. So, um, what you need to do, let me just go on to, uh, scenes, create, new scene, oh, you know what, let's use this one, so, just wait until this loads up, save, save this, because, me too. So you should have this as your like starter thing, right? Don't ask why it's that. Let me just. So you should have this, yeah. If you want to make a horror fun game instead of this, what I would do or suggest is deleting this plane. So then you have this. Then go onto your uh. Then go onto this. Click on that, and then click on all these and hold shift or you could just go to the hierarchy and just press that whilst holding shift then delete them now you have this this could be an oa to whatever but over here i'm going to do mine here so what you've got to do is get your um pro pro builder up then as soon as you've got your pro, pro builder up, this one does not have a roof for some reason. Let me just make a roof. So anyways, if I didn't make a, tell you how to make a roof, all you've got to do Let me just, yeah, then all you need to do is go onto this, the um, scale tool, press control E and then bring that in. So about that, there. you see you have a, wait, you see you have a tiny thing, what you've got to do is go to it. Then just scale that in a tiny bit. You'll still have like a tiny bit, but that's fine. But then, if you go to this, go to this, uh, go to any wall in here, or whatever your map is, uh, then what you want to do is press Control E, still on this. Then, if it comes out, just move that back in. To place then then scale it down to about like the perfect entrance then what you want to do is just move that down then soon as you've done that I'm gonna make mine a bit bigger there as soon as you've done that press Control E, or you could go here, press extrude faces. Then move it back a bit. It's and you see if you, you have your tunnel to um, your hover map. Then what you've got to do is go to this is the part where I struggled on, but I now know. So what you've got to do is press Control E before you do it, and every time you've got to like move it back. Then now you've got to turn it. I'm gonna turn mine a bit. Then I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go down. 
So, what you see now you're getting your entrance to Holler. If you want it to be longer, just use that one, then just bring it down like that. Then if you want it to go straight down, control E again, make that go back into place. Doesn't have to be perfect when going back into place. Then, just move that. Move that going down. Then, should have something like that. Then just move it across. So, you should have something. Like that, when you're doing it. Like that. You should have something like that so far. It doesn't matter if it's going below this, it's fine. Then, I'm just going to move that off of it. Then, go to your, um, control E again. Just move that down. Go to this, then just do that. It's not the best, but still will do. Then, you could just do it like, like that, where it's going thingy, then going straight. Then, as soon as you've got that, you're done with the, you're done with the entrance. Now, what you've got to do is press Control E, bring that back. Then, go to your scale tool, bring that as, as big as you want. Right, I'm going to do mine up to there. Then, squeeze it down to make your hover thing. It doesn't matter if it's, like, tilted. You can, like, just sort that out if you want to. I'm just going to do mine like that because it usually goes back when you're doing it then press control then see the yeah now nah, so then press control e then as far back as you want you'll have this then right so it's just a play mat now but I'm going to teach you how to, oh wait, also before you do it, let me just show you something, before you do it, bring that up to there, because if thingy you'll have to jump back into here to uh, go back to spawn, press control E, then do that. Then now you can see goes up. So then as soon as you have that, what you want to do let me just turn that on now. What you've got to do is go into your uh, hierarchy, click up here, press three D object, um wait no pro builder cube. Then this will spawn. Reason why, then go to your um, move tool, then move it as close as you can, get it to the perfect size of your wall. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then as soon as you've done that, go into your uh, face selector, bring that in a bit. It should have something like that. 
Then do the same for your uh, top, but bring that up a bit. So basically, like to match the top of your wall, so that they can't like climb over. There. Now what you've got to do. Click on that. Then bring that out. You can add texture if you want. I'm gonna add a bit of texture to mine. Then once you've done that, um go back onto uh face selector, click on click on that, press control E and then keep extruding it. You can use these to make it like go sideways, but also if you want to go like different ways, just do that then press control E on another thing then it's gonna go like that. So yeah, so keep doing that until you like fill the room and next tutorial I'll teach you how to like make, um, um, like, can't think anymore. Anyways, yeah. So I'll teach you next uh, tutorial how to add a horror monster to your Grill Tag fan game. Or if you're making a horror fan game, I'll, or just making a horror mode, I'll teach you as well. Alright, thank you guys so much. Peace out.